Hi, and welcome to Brooms to Puzzles, where I'm returning to the World Puzzle Federation. For me, it's been a couple of weeks. Hopefully for you, it's only been one day since I last looked at a World Puzzle Federation puzzle. But this is World Puzzle Federation 2015 Round 8, which were puzzles created by puzzle creators from the United Kingdom. And this is a Windoku by, created by Tom Collier. And this puzzle was worth 45 points. So hopefully it won't be too brutal. Um, so... Uh, of course, there'll be a link below to this puzzle as well as to the entire World Puzzle Federation pack. But uh, I'll go through the rules. And then before I go into my solve, I'm going to show the Windoku trick um, uh, so that um, people who know the trick... Uh, yeah, I, when I solved a Windoku puzzle on this series before, I had a lot of people saying, oh, I didn't need to use the trick, um, but I think it's worth having in your toolbox because I think that a lot of people who don't know the trick may may find that it helps them. And pe um, the, a lot of the people who solved this as a competition puzzle did know the trick. So because it's used in every Windoku puzzle, I am going to show it off before I solve the puzzle. So uh, I'm, what are the rules? So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. We also cannot repeat digits in any of these caged or um, shaded three by three regions. So we cannot repeat digits in here. We cannot repeat digits in here or in this region or in this region. Now, that's how the rules work. Now, what is the Windoku trick? So, what we can prove is that this here must be another region of digits one to nine without repeats. Well, how do we prove that? If we were to look at these three columns, then these three columns we know because they're three columns will contain one to nine three times because that's the definition of three columns. Each of those columns will contain one to nine. So that is three, one, uh, th one to nine thrice. This is one to nine once, and this is one to nine twice. So if we remove those two instances of one to nine, this is the third instance of one to nine that had to exist in those columns. The same is true for these cells. If we look at those cells with regards to these columns, the same is true for these cells. If we look at those cells with regards to these rows, and the same is true for these cells. If we look at those cells in regards regards to these three rows. Now, that means that yellow, orange, blue, and green are four regions of one to nine, and the gray are another four regions of one to nine. But any Sudoku contains nine sets of one to nine because there are nine rows, nine columns, and nine boxes. So where is the final region of one to nine? It is these unshaded, not that one, that one. It's these unshaded cells are the only nine cells left over to make the final region of one to nine. So you cannot repeat digits in any of those red cells either. And that is an important Windoku trick because it means, for example, I know that can't be a four because if that was a four, I'd have two fours in blue and that would break blue because blue must be one to nine without repeats. That's the Windoku trick. Whereas if I look at the grid just without any of uh, anything, there's nothing telling me that that can't be a four. Whereas knowing the Windoku trick, you can immediately look at that cell and say cannot be a four. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So let's just start with some Stoku. Five and five puts five in one of those two cells. This five says that's not a five, so this is a five. Five and five now puts five in one of those two cells. Uh, eight and eight puts eight in one of those two cells. Eight and eight puts eight in one of these two cells. This is actually a five eight pair, but this eight resolves it with that being the five and that being eight. That puts eight in one of those two cells. And now with eight in one of those two and one of those two, where can I put eight in this column? I can't put it in any of those. This becomes an eight. Okay. Now I just got a five, does that do anything for me? Well, I can't put five in any of those. No five there, no five there. Five is in one of those two, which means in this box, five is in one of those two. Now that's the complete five, that's the five in this gray box. So five has to be in one of those two cells, but I'm not sure how that's helping me.
Hmm. Okay. Eight is in one of those two, except that eight is looking up saying, that's not the eight, that's the eight. Hang on, I can't put eight in any of these. And I can't put eight in any of those or there. That's the eight in the in the uh, in the grey region. This eight, of course, now means this can't be an eight because it would repeat as well as the eight looking up. This is the eight. That's all of the eights. Nice. One is not in any of those. I'm trying to look for places I can do Sudoku, such as six has to be in this region here. So I can't put six here because if I put six here, I couldn't put six in this box anywhere. Six, uh, two, 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 two. six is not in any of those or there. I don't think that's it. Four, uh, okay. This one feels a little more tricky. This one does feel a little more tricky. Five's not in any of those or there. Five is in one of those two. Five is in one of those three. Maybe. Oh, this five is looking down saying that's not the five. So that's the five. So this is not the five. And now we've got five down to these. Now, one of those two has to be a five. One of those two has to be a five. One of those two has to be a five. So if that's a five, that's a five, that's a five, and we're good. But if that's a five, that's a five, and that's a five, and we're also good. Dan, okay, that works. Next, next. Four is down here. That doesn't seem to be helping me. Wow, this one is definitely ramping it up. Seven in this box, however. Can't go in those or those. That is a seven. Which puts seven down here. That, but we're seven in here now. It's in one of those two, but that's across boxes. I don't like, like it's within the gray box, but it's across the regions of the Sudoku. And I'm still not a fan of pencil marking that. This is only one or four, sorry, what, wrong mode. One or four, big, oh, wow. Okay, what? Is going on. This is only one or four because it sees two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what am I missing in this row? Two in this row has to be in one of those two. Which makes that a two. Yeah, that is a two. Which puts two in one of those two. And that can't be a two because it would conflict with that one. That's a two. And if you don't understand how I'm doing that, go back to before the solve and check out the Windoku trick I explained. Six in this box can't be here or in any of those. It's in one of those two. So now I can't put six in any of those. Well, where's six in this box now? I can't put it in any of those three because if I put it in those three, it would line up with the sixes that have to be here and here and break the puzzle because this can't be a six because... If this was a six, I couldn't put a six into box one. So six in this region is in one of those two. Not sure how to deal with that. Wow, this one is quite tricky. No, wrong button. Two in this region. Where can it go? This two says those aren't two. That's a seven, five. That's a nine, eight. And two can't go there. This is actually the two. This is not the two. Couldn't have got the two since I got that one. That's in the same same region as that one. So this is a triple now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, six, nine. Now that can't be a six. That one. 
I need to put a one in one of these. It's not there. One is in one of those two. So these are one. Oh, there's no nine here either. So nine is up here. This is three or six. So I've got to put a four in, four is in one of those two, which puts four in one of those two, because four has to be in here. I can't put four in either of those two, and it's not in those. So four is in one of those two, knocking four out of all of those, and that four knocks four out of there. Four is in one of those two, because it can't be there either. So where's four in this? No, I've got four in this region. So four, I'm yeah, not sure. This is now a triple. One, four, six. There's no one there. Well, this is just a triple. Three, four, six. There's no six there. Not sure about that one, but makes this a triple, which is one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, nine. There's no one there. There's no one there because of the one in the center of the grid. So this is a one, knocking one out of all of those and all of those. But this is now a two nine, which means I can't put two or nine into any of these corners. These corners are the hardest ones to scan. So I'm very tempted to mark those ones because they also give me the division on these regions. It makes it easier to see where these regions start and end and on these ones and everything. Okay. So I've got one, two, and nine in yellow. So can I look for more naked singles in yellow? So for example, this now has to be one or four. It sees it can be one, it can't be two, three, it could be four, I oh know, it can't be five, six, it could be seven. Uh, it can't be eight or nine. So this is one, four, or seven, and it's not one. So this is only four or seven. Oh, and it can't be four. That's a seven. So is there another one that's really restricted? This one sees one, two, three, four, five, six, C seven and eight, five, six, nine. Hang on, there's something going on here. No, there's no nine because this is a two nine. This is only five or six. So these are all three, four, five, six. So this is three or four because it can't be five or six. This is three or four. And that digit has to be in one of, right. Where's three in this region? It can't be in any of those because those can't take a three that's full. Those are full. Three is in one of those two, meaning that's the four, which takes four out of the, four out of there. So the ones that haven't been placed, this is three, five, or six only. Okay, that's interesting. I don't think I'm doing great at this one. Four is now in one of those two, which makes this the one, which takes one out of there. So this is a triple, four, five, seven, no, not four, five, seven, one, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, seven, nine. Well, there's no seven there. So, and there's no four there. That's the nine. This is a four, seven pair. And this is one, two, three, this is a four. But this is a four, seven. And the seven is making that the four and that the seven. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, six, nine. And there's no one in any of those. That's the one. Can I resolve the six, nine? Not obviously. But this is a triple, 
which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, six, nine. There's already a one in this region. So that's a six, nine pair, making that the one. The six, nine looks down, making that the five, which takes five out of there. That is a three, six, which means this is the five by pencil marks. Cool. Cool. The six, nine means this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are two, three, seven. There's no seven there. Oh, pardon me, my nose has started running. Uh, not sure. Well, okay. This... Well, hang on, this isn't a five, this is known. This is just a one. So these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. There's no six there. The Oh, the six makes that the four and did ages ago. That's the six, which makes that the three, that the four. The three makes that the six, and this is a triple. One, three, nine. Well, there's no one there. There's no one there. This has to be the one. Can I resolve the three, nine? Yes, there's a three in this region already. That's the nine. That's the three. This is a seven, nine pair. Sure. Um, this is a seven, nine because left in the column is six, seven, and nine, and there's a six there. So this is the six making that the nine, which makes that the seven, that the six. The seven makes that the nine, looking up, making that the seven. This is now a triple, which is two, three, nine. So these are two, three, nine. Now that one can't be a nine, but if this is two, three, nine, that can't be three or nine. That's the six. And these are one and four, which I can resolve with four and one. The six looks back, making that the nine and that the six. This row is missing its two. This box is missing its three and its nine. And the nine is looking up, making that the three, that the nine, which makes that the two. There's no two in any of those. The six is looking down, making that the three, which makes that the seven and that the three. Uh, the three is looking up, making that the nine, which makes that the two, that the three. The two makes that the nine. Um, these two digits are one, two, and six, and I'll use the six to make that the two and that the six. This box is missing its four. So one, two, three, four, five, and seven go in, and I'll use the five to make that the seven and that the five, and that is the correct solution to the Windoku. That was a lot of fun. Um, I enjoyed that Windoku. Now, I used the Windoku trick liberally, but I can guarantee you anyone who is trying to speed solve will use it, and I've now given you that trick. Now, if you choose not to use it, or if you don't want to use the Windoku trick, I'd be curious how fast you could solve it without it. Um, I used the trick in uh, previous solves, as I said, and people said, I didn't need it, and I still solved it quickly. There's nothing wrong with not using the trick. Um, I don't know whether it's needed or not, but I know the trick, so I can't not use it. It's like, um, you know, if you know that a three-cell arrow um, that where all the digits on the arrow see each other means the bulb has to be six, seven, eight, nine. You can't not use that trick if you know it. I can't not use the Windoku trick if I know it. It's just in my head. Um, and it was one of the first big Sudoku pieces of logic I ever learned when I got into the hobby. So, yeah, um, it, it's one of the ones that's wired in there. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series and as always, good luck with your solving.